Welcome to Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools. And today, yep, as you can see by the shirt, spring is in the air. It's right around the corner, which means it's time to start thinking about mowing the old yard. So we've got a comprehensive buyer's guide here for you for cordless lawnmowers for 2021. Now, why cordless? Why no gas? Because gas is dead. I've been telling you this for some time that it was coming. Uh, this year, we're putting, a, we're putting the nail in the coffin. It's done. You could argue all you want, but you know, Tesla's proven it with cars and the mowers have proven it in the yards. You know what? I've done. I've done it. All right. I'm 52 years old. I'm not some young cub. I've been mowing yards my whole life. Once I switched to electric, there was no looking back. And I think everyone else, you'll see down in the comments, other people are like, no, I'm not doing the ripcord Roomba or Rumba anymore. I'm tired of playing those games with my gas mower, sitting there praying, hoping this thing starts and going, you know, I just give up. Or who knows, maybe you stick with it on the 47th pole that finally catches. No, gas is dead. Now, I know someone always chimes in with, well, you don't understand maintenance of small. Yeah, I do. I We all get it. We all get it. You do the proper maintenance. You do all this and you prep it for the winter and it, it'll be fine come summer. This is you doing maintenance on your gas mower. Everyone else who's got an electric mower, this is us doing maintenance. <laughs> no, gas is dead. Get over it. Let's move on. All right, we're going to be talking about powered motors, uh, we're battery systems from 20 volts all the way up to uh, to 80 volts here and everything in between. So what you need to look at are two things, how many volts you're going to need and how many amp hours you're going to need. Now think of volts as how much power it puts out and think of amp hours for how long it puts out that power. I know it's yeah, fudging some, some bits here, but that's basically how you should look at it. Now, if you've got a small yard that's already well maintained, it doesn't need a whole lot, you're looking at, you don't need that many volts, you don't need that many amp hours because you're everything there is nice and tidy. But let's say you get the same style of yard, well maintained everything, there's just more of it. Well, at that point, you're looking at low volts, but high amp hours because you're going to need to cut more, but you're not going to need a lot of power cutting the little tiny blades of grass, okay? Now, if you got something like this, you're going to need more power, which means more volts. And again, if it's a smaller yard, you can be high volts, but low amp hours. If it's a bigger yard, high volts, high amp hours. So that's going to give you the tools you need to understand what you're looking at and what you're going to need going forward. So I've broken this up by stores, kind of what each one carries. So you can kind of figure out what it is, where you shop, where you like to shop, and what you can get there. Now, the couple of cat the way I broke down these categories, or at least why it made it qualify for me was how good the mower is. How, uh, how how affordable it is and what all you can do with it and its battery system, which is why the first thing I'm showing you here is the Makita. Now, if you're not already in the Makita line, I'm not gonna suggest that you go this route, but if you are, you know, the nice thing about this is rather than having a bigger battery, you use uh, the, the current 18 volt batteries in parallel you're using two of them at a time that gets you the 36 volts so this this mower here 700 seems pretty pricey this comes with four five amp hour batteries you know how much expensive makita batteries are how expensive they are plus those batteries plus the dual charger in a self with a self-propelled mower that's not a bad package you know you'll have the batteries usable for all your other makita stuff and then when it's time to mow the yard you get that nice dual charger there who's going to get it all fresh and ready for you just something to consider. Now, we got to talk about Ryobi. So Ryobi, for many years, people were like, I don't know, can Ryobi do a good mower stuff? Ryobi has proven themselves, all right? They've been doing this for years now, and they keep crushing it every year. Any list you look at of, you know, top 10 best mowers, you're almost always going to find a Ryobi in there somewhere. It's just going to happen. This is the 21-inch, 40-volt, uh, brushless cordless walk behind uh, self-propelled mower. So this is self-propelled. I know they say walk behind, that's just the style. So with this, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get two six amp hour batteries. You're gonna get the charger, you're gonna get the mower. And this is a nice basic mower here from Ryobi. Now they're tying this one, this one's new for this year. They're tying into that HP that they talked about or they launched with the hand tools. I'm not exactly sure if it really is high power because this is brand new. Haven't had a chance to get paws on with it. But everything I've seen from Ryobi, everything I've looked at so far when it comes to the, the lawnmowers has been, you know, a great buy for the buck. 
So at, at $500, this is a decent solid system to get into. Now they also have a second option in basically looks essentially the same, but the difference is under the hood with this. So what you got here is you've got uh, two things that are different. You're getting the same batteries, you're getting essentially the same mower, everything else, but this mower's got two features. One is smart track. So basically the, uh, the system up here senses how fast you're walking and tells the wheels how fast to spin so it matches your pace. The other thing is the cross-cut multi-blade system. So basically you can run two blades on this thing for better cutting power and, uh, and, and giving you a more even cut, or you can run a single blade for longer life of, you know, longer battery life and get more cutting done with it. Those are your two options. Now, next up, this is a, a one from last year. If you want to save some bucks, more entry level kind of stuff, you're only going to get one battery with this one. You're going to get one six amp hour battery, but it's $400, so you're going to save a few bucks there. You got to figure out the size of your yard though, because you know buying these batteries separately, they can be kind of pricey. So you might want to consider if you know getting the second battery with it and you get the new HP for $100 more. If you're going to buy that other battery anyway, I would probably go with that one over this one. Now, here's the other reason why I include Ryobi on this. In the 40 volt line, they got a lot of stuff. We got this uh, 300 watt inverter, you've got blowers, you've got trimmers, you've got chainsaws and pole saws and uh, multi-port chargers and backpack blowers. There's a lot of other options. I'm not trying to get you into a system where that's it. You, you got a mower and you got a battery and that's all you're gonna be able to use that battery for. If you're gonna invest in a system, you wanna take, you wanna have a system that can take advantage of that investment. And that's one of the things you can do here with the Ryobi lineup. Now, the DeWalt, we gotta talk about DeWalt. I've not tried this, okay? But I had to include this here because this is, as far as I understand, it's new, it says new this season. This is the DeWalt, I kid you not, 20 volt max XR mower. All right, All right maybe that's not the XR, hold on. This is, there, there's the XR mower, it, it lists. But anyway, you have two choices. The, the nice thing with this is it uses your DeWalt batteries. If you're already in the DeWalt lineup, I had to mention this because, you know, I, I really like the idea of extending the battery usage for what you've already invested in. Your options are $400, or $500, this one comes with, get this, this one comes with two nine amp hour batteries in the 20 volt max system. So again, you know, it's an investment in your entire tool line. I have not tried these. If you've tried any of the DeWalt lawnmowers, I'd love to hear your feedback down below. Uh, I don't see a lot of the stuff. This is what I see with a lot of these people, these companies just getting into this. They get your bare bones mower out there. See, it's a steel deck, it's a mower head, and that's it. Whereas the Ryobi, who's been doing this for years, they got all the fancy technologies. They figured this out. They know where it's going. That's one of the reasons maybe you want to consider going with that. Now, over at Lowe's, we got to talk about, if we're at Lowe's, we got to talk about Cobalt. Now, talk about a bargain entry-level mower. This is your 40-volt max. Again, this is your basic steel deck mower. This thing's no frills, all right? You got a mower head, you got an on-off you know, button, and you just push this sucker. It's got side discharge on it. So, you know, it, it'll either leave it closed, it'll mulch, leave it open, it'll kick it out to the side. $200, yeah, now this says this item is out of stock. You notice that right there? Okay, I'm gonna show you something here. Now, you gotta promise, if I show you this, you have to promise that you're either A, you're going to wait and you're going to watch the whole video before you leave, or B, you'll put it on pause and you'll come right back, okay? Because this is an agreement, because otherwise you're just going to run away. I'm never going to see you again here. What if I told you you could get this mower here? Same mower. This is over on Brickseek. We look around here. Remember, I said it was out of stock in my area, right? MSRP is on $269. We saw list price on the website was, was $200. Uh, what if I told you you could get it for $110? Ah, ha, 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 ha. remember you promised you'd come back okay i'll wait all right i'm guessing you're back don't worry link is down below you can try and find this in your area i mean you look at my area we've got one two three four five five stores that have it in stock at 109 a couple stores at 139 this is going to be what we call your mileage may vary but you need to consider this i mean if you if you got a smaller yard or something like that this mower comes with a battery <laughs> Comes, comes with the charger. The battery and charger cost $150.
This is $110. That's an insane price. I think they're they're clearly closing this one out. They're going to be replacing it with something else, probably something like this. This is going to be the new entry-level mower over at, at, at Lowe's there from the Cobalt line, and it's a fantastic mower. You got the 40 volt system you got your uh, nice you know all your cutting features and everything it's a it's a brushless okay that's the one thing you'll find on almost all these they're almost all brushless and self-propelled 20 inch mower it's your basic does it everything you need mower not a lot of bells and whistles but you know the cobalt brand is pretty good it comes with a i believe a five-year warranty on it not much you can't really, you know, you can like say you can't really ask much more from a mower at that price. And then we step up to their big boy here, $500. This is going to get you the, the 80 volt, uh, you know, brushless self-propelled 21 inch mower. You're going to get the six amp hour battery. You're going to get the charger. Now what this, uh, th this mower does differently than the other ones, uh, at least the other ones in this line, we've seen this at Ryobi. Uh, is it's got that variable self-speed control kind of thing where it senses how fast you're walking and it adjusts its speed to, to uh, set the perfect pace for you. The other thing it does is it's got a smart motor on it. And what this thing does is it senses how much uh, power it needs to cut the grass you're cutting. If it's really light, it, it kind of lowers the, the, uh, the speed, it lowers the power output, and that extends your range and extends your, how, you know the life of the, of the battery on there. So again, you're getting some smart tech that goes in it, and that's what you're getting the difference there at the $500 price, normally uh, $600 price versus the $400 price there. All right, now the reason you also you want to consider the Cobalt 40 volt system here is they have a huge line of tools. They have a lot of stuff that goes with it. They got a backpack blower, they've got a sprayer, they've got trimmers, they've got you know uh, you know I say should say pressure washers and sprayers and snow blowers and chainsaws and pole saws and the whole night, all the outdoor power equipment you would want. This is a great system. It's a great lineup. It's easily available through Lowe's. They've got five-year warranties and all this stuff. I'm a huge fan of the Cobalt lineup. Uh, they've, they've really proven themselves to me and, uh, and to a lot of you all. So I would not have any problem with jumping into that lineup, especially at, you know, <laughs> hundred and ten dollars i'm gonna have to run out after this video myself i don't know what am i talking about i got astroturf down here in vegas now back in montana well we'll talk about montana here in a minute all right so now what's next over at lowe's well we got to talk about this is literally the cadillac of cordless mowers all right ego has just they're the ones who basically proved the theory that you could drop the gas can and you could go cordless and you wouldn't miss it in the least bit Ego proved this a long time ago. They've been the leader in this. They're the innovator in this. Everyone who has an Ego mower that I've ever talked to absolutely loves it. There's just no two ways getting around it. Now, that is, you're going to pay for the price for this. Ego's kind of unique. They're a 56-volt system. You're going to get your cordless 21-inch electric brushless mower and everything else. Uh, this is going to come with a 5-amp-hour battery six position cutting height and a three in one uh, function mulcher bagging or side discharge. Now these start out at $400. That's where you're going to start with the ego line. And you, there's a lot in between. You can step up here. This one's normally 550. Okay. But it's on sale right now for 50 bucks off. So you might want to consider that one. Again, you're going to 60 hours of runtime, 7.5 amp hours on this one. Uh, it's got the uh, variable sp uh, speed self-propel. Again, this is the one that senses how fast you're walking, changes to, to accommodate to that. And then you got the big boy up here. This is the one that this is rated to, to run uh, for at least an acre, if not more. It's got the 7.5 amp hour battery on it, high efficiency brushless motor. Um, actually, maybe I just assumed on the other. I assumed the other Ego was brushless. Maybe it isn't. Let me check real quick. Well, I have to take it back. Apparently, these aren't brushless, but this one is. Again, that's probably where you're getting the higher efficiency in the one acre plus cutting capacity. But this is, if you want the top of the line, this is going to be your top of the line mower. This is the true Cadillac of the uh, cordless cutting systems out there. And Ego, of course, not only do they have a great selection of outdoor power equipment, they've got snow blowers and blowers and chainsaws and backpack blowers and everything else. They've also got this, which is the Nexus Power Station. So basically, you got a couple different options, uh, how many batteries it will accept and the size of batteries and such. 
But these are basically your cordless generators, if you will, or gasless generators. You can, there's one, I think it takes four of the battery packs. You can just put a really ridiculous amount of battery life into one of these power stations and power a whole bunch of stuff with it. So if you go camping and you're serious about your camping or glamping or whatever you want to call it, or you just need some stuff for around the house, this may be one of the reasons to go with Ego. Now, if you're looking to shop online, you like over at Amazon, Amazon's going to have, I mean, they do have a big choice, but a lot of them, because they're bigger packages and stuff and they have to wrap the shipping cost into it, they're not as cost effective, but you can find some good deals. Sometimes there are some good ones. Now, if you look at this Greenworks, it's going to look really familiar to a lot of the mowers you may have seen. The Cobalt and others, I suspect are made, based on my evidence, I'm pretty sure they're all made by Greenworks. So if you want to go straight to the source, we've got a 40 volt Greenworks 21 inch cordless brushless mower here. Now this comes with a battery with a charger here. It's like a five amp hour battery and that's going to run you $400. That's with shipping with Prime. Get it right to your store or right to your door. Don't have to go to the store and deal with all that. And they have different battery options. You can get four, uh, four amp hours. You can get two amp hours, you can get six amp hours. The choice is really, you know, basically how much you want to spend and how big a yard you've got to mow. Now that's in the 40 volt. Now if you need some real power, they have an 80 volt system here. 21 inch, again, cordless push lawnmower, uh, includes a four amp hour battery and charger. Now this is $400. Now why is the 80 volt only that much? Well, it's a four amp hour battery. So you're getting a bigger voltage battery at a lower amp hour. Uh, and normally it's $500, so it's on sale right now at, at that price. Although you can get the mower only if you already got the battery. You get the mower only for $300. So again, Greenworks, is, they've been doing this for a long time too. I'm not going to say that they're at the level of, of Ego, but for a budget choice, they're not a bad choice to go with, especially considering that you know the Cobalt and other ones are essentially just those uh, rebadged. Uh, now, also, I, I found this, I have to point out, if you like that Makita deal from before, you can get it online. Same deal as far as I can tell there. You get the uh, you get the 5 amp hour batteries, you get the charger and everything else. And this, you're only looking at $597. This is sold by Amazon directly. So you're not, you know, dealing with some Joe Schmo, you know, uh, you know, reseller who's maybe getting, you know, uh, returns or something. You got to be careful when you're when you're buying uh, on uh, on Amazon as to who the actual seller is. In this case, it's directly there from uh, from Makita. Now over at Walmart, I got to talk about this because Walmart's recently jumped into get rid of that. Walmart's recently jumped into uh, the power equipment stuff with Hart, which as you know is made by TTI, so they've got some backing behind it. Again, they're the same guys who make Milwaukee, make Rigid, and make Ryobi, and the Hart is usually on par or around the the Ryobi kind of lineup. And uh, here we can see they've got a 40 volt line of mowers. Actually, they have quite a few of them here. And I'm going to step through them real quick with you just so you can understand them because they're, they're a little confusing. So you got the 40 volt. They're all going to be 40 volt cordless brushless. You got a 21 inch push mower kit here. Okay. This is, you got to push it. There's no power to it. This is your base entry level one. Comes with a five amp hour battery. Again, this is the kit at 287. This is going to get you battery, the charger and the mower. Now, I'm gonna, hold on a second. I'm going to tell you more about these mowers in just a second. Or you can go with the 40 volt cordless brushless 21 inch adaptive speed, okay? Again, adaptive speed is, it's gonna sense how hard you're pushing, so it's gonna change to match your pace. So, it, but again, you're gonna get the five amp hour battery with it. And the nice thing about these, and you may not think it is, these mowers have a mostly plastic setup on them, which means they're gonna be lighter weight, okay? That means you're gonna get more battery life out of it. That means they're not gonna rust. Uh, that means that, you know, you bang them into something, they're not gonna dead, they just bounce right off. I know a lot of you, you think plastic and you think cheap, but I found, I've been doing this for a while, I found that it makes them, at least out in the yard, makes them a little bit more robust. Plastic can shed off water from sprinklers, you leave it out in the rain accidentally. I, I, I know because that's happened to us because why? Because we have this mower right here. Now this is the Goldilocks mower between the two. This is self-propelled, but it does, it's not adaptive, all right? So you're, you're getting all the features of the higher end one without just not getting the, uh, the adaptive speed to it. This is going to run you 378, comes with the 5 amp hour uh, battery with it. And my, so what happened was my Cubs decided that last year that they wanted to start a lawn care business. And dad said, okay, I'll, I'll help you out. Now, uh, Hart had sent me 
the uh, the blower and the trimmer already for testing. And we've been putting that to good use. And I figured, you know what, we, we had two batteries for this system already. We get the heart one in the th in that lineup. We'll have three batteries depending on the yard how we ever how we have to use them because you know you're typically like with the blower you're not going to use all the battery juice in that thing to clean up afterwards. And maybe with the trimmer, I got to tell you, the trimmer's fantastic. The trimmer is a ton of power. The blower's fantastic. The mower is good. It's not like wow you know blow your hair back kind of stuff. It's not going to shock you. But I will tell you this, it's light. I can pick it up with one paw, put it in the back of the truck. It folds nice nice and convenient. We really like it. And the, as I said, the Cubs were using it all last summer. We're talking about, from, uh, this is up in Montana. So we're talking about early spring, wet, thick grass all the way towards, you know, towards fall where, when it up there to get a lot more arid. So you got tall, thin, hard, dry, brittle grass. And, uh, and they were mowing three, five, six yards, uh, you know, a week with this thing. So they really put it through its paces and, and it kept up. It did a great job. It, you know, they liked using it. They liked using all this. In fact, I will say this. They honestly were not fans of using the trimmer because it had too much power and they would often use the 24 volt trimmer or the 20 volt trimmer we have from Bauer. Uh, they liked using that trimmer a lot better than this thing because it, it threw too many rocks. They were a little scared of it. Anyway, so they now Hart's added a few other mowers. Now this is this is where I start chuckling. So this is a 16-inch mower. So this, this is your push mower. Nothing fancy about it. 238. It'll get you a mower. But understand the deck, the cutting width on it is only 16 inches. Almost all the other ones that we talked about were 20 to 21 inches. That's going to be pretty small. So you're going to need to have a pretty tiny yard that you're going to want to use this in. All right. Uh, it doesn't stop there. They've also got a 13 inch. This this thing's adorable. I mean, you can, I, I don't know. I don't know. A 13 inch mower. It's $197. It's, I mean, but still, I'd probably want to grab that one for, you know, 110 bucks we talked about before. But one of the benefits with Hart is, you know, that Hart does have a sizable lineup of tools. They've got a, a great uh, lineup of outdoor power equipment. They've got trimmers and blowers and, uh, they don't have a snow a snow blower yet. That's the one thing we've been talking about. They need to get a snow blower in that 40 volt lineup, but they've got everything else there you could poss possibly want. And then of course, you know, all the other tools and stuff. Now over at Harbor Freight, we got to include them because they recently came out with their mowers also. Again, I'm looking at these and I'm seeing green works all over it. Now this is, you got to figure out if this is going to you know make sense to you. They've got an 80 volt system. And they've got, I think it's a 40 volt system. Oh no, I guess it's just 80 volts in the uh, in the mower. So they get the 80 volt self propelled, uh, and they got the 80 volt push. Uh, they have the deal of 30 bucks off instantly when you buy the mower, the battery, and the charger. I I, I don't know. I I'd like to see a better discount on that. Um, you know, let me do the math on this one. And you're you're coming in like four and a half with the discount when you get the, the bigger battery and you get the fast charger on it, but you're not getting some of the features. I, I don't know, does this have the, it does feature rear wheel drive with variable speed control. So it does adjust to your pace, which is nice. Does it have the smart mower, uh, smart power feature? Uh, 21 inch steel deck, automatic load sensing technology. It does, it does seem to have, uh, I guess all the, the good stuff that you'd want for it. There is a decent line of tools to go with the Atlas lineup. But again, I know a lot of people are going to complain because the number one thing that we always hear is, well, what about the warranty on this? And I think the warranty is going to be like 90 days. All right, now we got to talk about Works real quick. Now, Works does have a line of, of cordless mowers, but they're so-so. And if you're already in that battery system, I could see that or something. But what they do have is, if you're interested, is he's got the, the robo mowers of death. They're going to come at you. No, they're probably the most cost-effective. If you've been looking at robo mowers, that's these old droid bot mowers that mow the yard on their own and you don't have to do a darn thing. They go and they plug themselves in and they charge. They, some of them do anyway. The, the fact is, you can start out here at a, a base one for, it was $1,300, all, all the way up to a uh, GPS control, does everything for $1,500 or $1,700 there. So if you're looking at that, I found these guys to be the more cost affordable uh, in the robo mowers, and they get great reviews all the time. I've seen them demoed at some shows before. 
<laughs> they're cool to look at. They probably wouldn't handle my yard too well, but uh, you know what? It's an option. Now, also, I'm going to throw this out there. I got to talk about Menards. I know there's a lot of you don't have Menards in your area. I don't. But again, look, look at this mower. What does that look like to you? Yeah, it looks like a green works to me. 21 inch, 80 volt, cordless, brushless, self-propelled. Uh, you're going to get, uh, this is the kit here. You're going to get the battery and, and whatnot with it. Uh, let's see here. It comes with a, yep. It's going to come with a five, a five amp hour battery with the charger. Uh, if you're in the, you know, Menards area, you might want to consider this. Cause again, it, you're basically getting the green works lineup. You can buy it directly from Menards. You got that 11%, uh, you know, mail in rebate help bring the price down and there is a decent selection of tools and this is the primary reason why i wanted to include this because they've got some tools here that are they look pretty good but look at this where is it it's so we got the backpack blowers we got the trimmers we've seen all that before this is something i've not seen a cordless brushless tiller cultivator in that same battery lineup that's really cool. I'd like to see more people get out there and, and do more of the gardening kind of stuff as well. They've got snow blowers as well. So, you know, they, they've really covered that outdoor power equipment line uh, probably as good or better than anybody else. Anyway, at the end of the day, what you have to consider is where do you like to shop? What, you know, who do, who do you trust in the long run? Now, as to what my top picks would be, well, I think if you're going to be shopping over at Home Depot, uh, the Ryobi is a no-brainer. They they bang for the buck. They're one of the best options out there. You know, if you want to go real budget, if you can get your paws on, on one of these cobalts, you you gotta you gotta do it. One hundred and ten dollars. I mean, come on. But honestly, the the cobalt line of, of tools in general, it, it's a great lineup to get into. So even if you got one of their regular mowers here, that's not a, as big a sale. That at five hundred dollars, I think that's a good option. If you've got the money to spend. I think you got to consider the ego. I mean, if you just want no headaches, go with the ego lineup. You won't be disappointed. You're going to pay that entry price to get there, $700 for that top of the line. But that's what happens when you buy the Cadillac, right? Okay, as far as other options, I think the only other one I'm going to throw out there I think that you really should strongly consider is the heart. Now, yes, they did send me the, uh, the trimmer and the blower. We bought this on our own because... You know, we were trying to do an investment, you know, for the Cubs, for their business. And we got a pretty small yard up in Montana for ourselves. It cuts it in, in, in just, you know, seconds flat. But uh, as far as doing all the other yard work, it, it works. It just does. We've left it out in the rain in Montana. And I think it got snowed on even. This thing just keeps going and going and going. It's light. It's easy to use. We really enjoy it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our uh, our buyer's guide here for lawnmowers. We're going to come back and we're going to talk about other types of outdoor power equipment. Maybe do a summary of like the entire lineups and that kind of stuff in another video. If you like this or you got ideas for other videos, put it down below. Let me know what your favorite choice is down there. Uh, while you're down there, don't forget to chomp the old like button, you know, subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell because, you know, YouTube doesn't believe you if you don't ring that bell. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.